What's going on guys, my name is Ali and today I've got a Star Wars Battlefront 2 video for you and yeah, as you can see on screen we're going to be looking at loot crates straight away because well, very controversially, they're looking quite pay to win at the moment and when I say pay to win I mean you sink into a thousand pounds and you're a lot better than a dude who's spending no money on the game because the only way to get new weapons, new abilities is through the loot crate system as you see on the screen and that's not all. Within the loot crate system, you've got four ranks, bronze, silver, gold, and some top rank that I can't quite remember the name of, platinum, probably something like that. Anyway, let's take example on one of Boba Fett's attachments. He's got the ability for reduced damage while using his jetpack. Quite useful. So, the bronze rank gives him 50% less damage. Whereas the top, let's call platinum, whatever it is, is 100%. As you can see, that's quite a big difference. And if someone was rocking all attachments, all abilities on four star rank versus someone who's got someone a one star, someone a two star, but someone nothing, then you're gonna have a huge advantage going into any gunfight, any match, and therefore you're gonna be winning a lot more. Is there another way to get all of these attachments without spending money. Yes, there is. There's the crafting system. But does it work? No, not really. I don't think so anyway. The amount of credits or whatever it is that you need, craftable material, to create these things that you get while playing the game is so minimal. In the whole week that I've been playing the beta, I got like 60 of these things. 60. You needed like a hundred just to take a bronze up to a silver on some of the items. So can you craft them? Unless you're playing 24-7, probably not. And even then, if you are, are you guaranteed it? No, definitely not. So paying to win, it looks very much like it in this beta. Will it change in the full game? Who knows? The amount of criticism that they're getting online, I think they'll probably have to do something about it to change it. Anyway, let's jump into some gameplay. I'm going to be showing you some live arcade today. It's the first game you really want to be jumping into, especially if you're new to Star Wars Battlefront, if you've never played the first one, or never played a Battlefront game before. And what it is, is against the computer, it's a small little challenge against the clock. One of the ones and the gameplay that I've got for you is with Darth Maul, and you've basically got to kill 30 enemies, I think it is, within 25 seconds. Every time you get a kill, you add 3 seconds to your time. It's quite fun, nice short gameplay to get you really into it, before you head into the multiplayer big 40 person battle. So yeah, let's jump into it. Oh yes, choke slam. Alright, let's go. Darth Maul. Do this. Oh come on. Run. Yes. Do that cool. Oh god. What? Whoa, yes. Oh yeah. Sick. So many of them. So many of them. Come on. Oh no, no. No, no, get it, get it. Boom! 